seen, so I thought I'd do a video in the seldomly seen captain's quarters on the main deck. So here we are. Set the phone up. It's my reading room and sleeping room since I spend about 60% of my time sleeping in this room because of my bad sleeping habits. Makes no sense to keep my wife up as well, getting up at all hours in the middle of the night because I can't sleep or because I gotta go to the washroom. Hell. Just a quick tour here. Some of the Books. Oh, there's my uh, complete volume of Sherlock Holmes. Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. And right over here is where I keep the books that I have easy reach to that I like to reacquaint myself with the stories and the writings. The Federalist Papers, which were uh, written by uh, John J. Alexander Hamilton and... Uh, uh, James Madison, basically uh, promoting uh, a series of essays promoting the, uh, the Constitution to replace the Articles of uh, Confederation. Uh, Edgar Allan Poe, Fahrenheit 461, Flowers for Algernon, The Day of the Trepids, and I've showed these books before on uh, Graphic Mass Journal. Those are my faves, and of course, uh, Montaigne, the Essays of Montaigne, and many other books besides comics that I read. So, let's go on with the show. so far. I added Joyce, sister Joyce to the old ones up on the ceiling. It's going to be painted, drywalled. Got all the trim up on the windows and doors. And got all the drywall up. There's me extension, extension plank. I add die to the uh, to the uh, joint compound, so I know where the sand. This is the uh, the third light coat that just covers up imperfections and. I dyed it with red dye so I knew, so I would know where to sand. So that's where I'm at right now. I'll put electrical in. There's a uh, TV going up there for the wife, for the fair maiden. And uh, that's where I'm at so far. And it's been a hell of a lot of work. Well, let's get this show on the road. Well, 
Let's see, I got a mess here. I'm gonna try to straighten things out a little bit, just sort through stuff. I got a bunch of books down here at me feet. Let's see, first up, I'm gonna have to figure out where to put these. Spooky! From Harvey Comics. I'll bet you this is 19. The 20th center is probably. Probably 19. 72? 72, I think. Oh, I hate these kind of bags with the... They got the self-seal on them. I don't like them at all. Come to think of it, I think I changed my mind. So I'm going to say 73. It's a 20 center. read this stuff. Number four. This is number four. Yeah. Number four from 1973. Spooky. Nice black cover. Yeah, I'm trying to switch everything over to Mylar anyway. It's expensive, but it's best for my books I think and uh, it's just a slow process when you get the money I buy the bags and then I switch them over but uh, I think I'm done buying plastic bags and having a fool around with the tape but the mylar you can just fold it over cut off the ends a little bit and then fold them in to the bag and then just, just kind of Squeeze a nice little crease and you're done with it. No tape, no mess. Oh, looky here. Strange Tale 78 now. 73. Why did I say 78? It's from 1960. This comic is soon to increase in value exponentially. So make sure you get yours today and get it graded. For there are rumors and rumors of rumors of a movie in the works starring the great Gratu. The movie is supposed to be the remake of the 1950, a sequel of the 19, uh, sequel of the 1954 black and white Hi-fi, sci-fi, horror classic, Them. Starring Gratu. The plot involves Gratu, king leader of the ants, who was in a war with the humans for dominion of the earth. After suffering... After suffering great losses on both sides of the conflict, the humans, as well as them, find themselves confronted by a threat from outer space in the form of none other than the Xanti misfits, whom you, re whom you may recall from the uh, Outer Limits, starring, oh, who, oh, that would be a great movie, wouldn't it? I'm making this up, of course, but it would be a great movie, starring, uh, well, we could have uh, Joey be done with him, and uh, Caramel Heretic as, uh, as, uh, Les, uh, as uh, Laszlo and Leslie Hornbuckle from the planet Xanti in a galaxy far, far away called Themaratus. <laughs> Grot 2. Speaking of Grot 2, uh, this coming Thursday, Thanksgiving evening, 
7 o'clock central time we're going to have a special Thanksgiving four color fossils being hosted this week by none other than Gratu Orloff himself while a graphic man takes a, uh, a, a respite probably for the next week or two so tune in this Thursday night 7 o'clock central time and I'll leave the link in the description box to Gratu's channel and it should be a lot of fun Eric Breen will be there and some other guests we never know who comes on the show where do I put the oh this is supposed to be downstairs I don't know how it got up here but it's supposed to be downstairs this is the indie room up here this is the captain's quarters Indian room. Where do I put this now? Uh, I'll have to put it over here right now. Okay, here we go with some other classics. Here. A couple of. Uh, are you ready? Classics Illustrated, The Buccaneer. I hope you can see that because I'm doing this from my phone and uh, let's see I might have to move this around a bit and I have another one another Pirate comic book. Wait a minute. I'm backwards. Oh, shit. How could I be back? I'm not backwards. I'm backwards. Um, I gotta pull this camera closer. This is the first time I've ever dealt with a phone video because I can't get my uh, my laptop's no good for recording up here, and I can't bring the room downstairs where my main computer is. So. Oh, bloody hell, you dropped your cap. Uh, I got stuff everywhere. Where was I? Oh, I showed you this, right? This has got to be rebagged and boarded. Classics Illustrated. Treasure Island. See, right now, as I look on the phone screen, it shows it's backwards, but when you play it back, it's correct. Well, figure, I don't know. Where do I put, you know what? I think what I'm going to do with these, I'm going to put all my pirate and buccaneer comics in one container when I get them and come across them and there's a box right over here Let's see if you can see this oh come on lads to be smoother and not shaky I 
sink right here. Oh, all on my tea. Didn't know where to put them. Wait a minute, what am I doing here? Oh, there's more stuff there. Okay. Oh, I got stuff here I haven't even un I haven't unboxed yet or unbagged or whatever you want to call it. But this is a nice one I can use for my buccaneer and pirate. Oh, looky what else is in there. <laughs> I was looking for this. Found my Bengay. What else is in there? Brands. What the hell? Oh, I was looking for it. This is funny. This is funny. Look at the scotch tape. Uh, I, I had a few of these up here and I couldn't find them. And the other day I was watching... Uh, uh, Gratu's latest episode and he was looking for scotch tape but he found the same thing like like this one unreal uh, the hell? biofreeze Another, uh, yeah look at this what is that another biofreeze this is empty no nope, this still has a little bit in it and I need this I need Bengay and Biofreeze all right well now that I got this Straighten this out a little bit, I think. There. Sorry for all the shaking. I've, as I said, I'm new to working with phones like this. So I'm going to pull. this up a little bit it's on a tripod you see uh, at least i'm a little bit closer right and i got the uh outside microphone hooked up to my uh phone so an external microphone might actually uh be better on the volume what do i do with this now uh, Oh, 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 God damn it. Ah, God darn it. Now I swore again. That I swore never to swear again. Oh. Well, this is going to be one heck of a video. Okay. Uh, you know what? Now I dropped these books. Oh, for God's sake. Um, huh? I have an idea. I have an idea. Oh, let's see. piece of wood on the bed and then I can put the boxes on the wood and sort the comics I don't know why I didn't think of that in the first place okay what have we here oh okay we're all the buccaneer 
And me Buccaneer and Pirate Comics. Uh, let's see, what did I do here? Where did I put? Oh, here they are. I will rebag and board the rebag and board them later, so it's not to make it too long or boring. Not that it's boring, but I mean. Uh, oh, okay, here. We'll go in this pile over here. Brought this from downstairs. I don't know what it is. Well, I know what this is. There's a few of them in here. Uh, it's another Classics Illustrated. What's this one? Um, number 70. I think this is a second print. But it might be a first, I'm not sure. Call the pilot. And it's another Buccaneer. Buccaneer comic. Pirate comic. Piracy comic. Oh, here's uh Oh, looky here. This belongs up here in the indie room. It's Tower Records. I mean, <laughs> Tower Records. Tower Comics. This is under C Agent number six. Take a look at that cover. Got a uh, female diver in distress. Reminds me of that cover um, with Lois Lane. Hold it. I think I have that right here. A bunch more stuff. Ah. Uh, yeah, take a look at this. I was going to put this on the wall up here. Put them side by side. Strange, eh? Interesting. It's interesting. Now, where do I put this? Under C agent. That would go with... I got a box downstairs with Tower Records in it that should have been up here. So, I guess for now, I'll have to put this over here. Oh, good Lord of mercy. Oh, <laughs> here's a Harvey Comics. I gotta get, uh, Humphrey. Humphrey, the humpback whale. Spin off of Joe Palooka. I think I showed this comic before. It's got some great uh, ads in here. Uh, I think somebody just offered to buy it from me for $35. Uh, but I don't know if I want to sell it or not now. Damn it. I got it up for sale and I don't know. You know how that goes. Scooperoo. It's 
pretty nice copy. Um, oh, this is nice. This would make a great poster. And there's the back of it. Now these are going to go with the Harvey comics, which I have up here. Actually, I got them all over there. I got I don't like putting the bags in, I mean the comics in the bag that way. I like to put them in together with the comic, the bag and the I mean the board and the comic in the bag at the same time. Okay, uh, I think what I gotta do. Here's a temporary box of Harveys. So, oh, it's almost full. I might have to switch these in a bigger box. This was an experiment that I did. <laughs> this used to be a 26 inch long box and I shortened it with the lid and all to a, a 20 inch long box. It's the first time I've done that so it's a pretty bad well not bad but a lot of a lot of taping it's a real tape job so anyway um, I guess I'll put the Harveys in here because I think I got a lot of them around here so smaller box for other stuff. Okay. So Humphrey, spin off of Joe Palooka goes in here. Harvey. holding box for Dell and Gold Key and then I'll put them in order later because I got to rebag and board a lot of this stuff so here Ooh. well this high school romance number ow what is this number 23 Covered by Lee Elias. You know, there's a. I read this, and there's a. Um, I did a lot of repair on this because it was uh, the cover was falling apart. And I don't know if you can see the tape, but I used the uh, archival mending tissue or archival tape right around the edge of the book. You can barely see it because. <clears throat> that's the kind of tape it is you can hardly tell it's there it's archival quality it's what they use in the Library of Congress um, my goodness look at those hus hush puppies on her you can tell that <laughs> he really uh, turned that into a headlight cover <clears throat> oh 
<clears throat> I'm going to have to put that over here. Okay, here's a Space Family Robinson. That'll go into my temporary Delgo key box. Oh, I wish I showed this on Graphic Man's channel, Space Mouse. I sent Gratu a cartoon. Uh, he was featured in the 19, I think 1960 cartoon called uh, The Secret Weapon. Same name as a story on the cover here. And it was a one-shot cartoon released in theaters, I believe. And then I remember now that uh, he also appeared in uh, cartoons on Woody Woodpecker, Space Mouse. He never had his own series, but he did appear in cartoons on uh, the Woody Woodpecker show. Huckleberry. Huckleberry Hound. Huckleberry Hound show introduced uh, Yogi Bear. And Yogi Bear became even more popular than Huckleberry Hound. Oh yeah, this is a uh, uh, I bought this. Um, it's a second printing. It's our crumb story here called Jumping Jack Flash. Uh, 1971 the reason I got it is because I thought it, it would make a great poster you know you take away the uh, take away the 50 cents and take away the SP and you got yourself a nice poster of a Kraken Jenny teapot Space Family Robinson. That'll go into the temp file over here. Huh. Looney Tunes. 1953. Bugs Bunny. got a box that I have to bring up here. It's downstairs where I have all these uh, holiday and rainy day covers. Now what's it? Oh! Take a look at this one. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, let me uh, bag it's in two bags this bag and then another bag you know this was featured in <clears throat> seduction of the innocent this is from 1949 oh wait no not this one not this one sorry my mistake captain blood here's the back cover I think this is from, oh wait, this is a, a re, reprint of the original, so it's not 1949. The original was called Fast Fiction, and then they reprinted them with a different cover uh, a couple years later. So this is from 1951. <clears throat> Excuse me. And basically, I think that they were trying to copy Classics Illustrated. And they had some great covers here. And it's another Buccaneer cover, Captain Blood. Remember the movie with Errol Flynn? What a great picture that was. I love that movie. So this goes into the, uh, the Buccaneer bin. This, I already showed you, will go over here. 
Oh, brother. Bag and board all this stuff here. Look at this. Barely human. Marvel Tales number 151. And if you uh, look closely, you'll discover that the uh, they're actually walking on a... I don't know if it's a human head or what. <clears throat> Maybe a planet that has a, a head with... Uh, Hair follicles, because those are hairs. Did you know that? Your hairs are like tubes. They actually have a hole going through it. They're tubes. Hair is made like a tube. Just like on the cover here. You didn't know that, huh? So that would go there. <clears throat> Brand new Marvel Tales. Uh, here's a. I gotta rebag and board this. I mean, look at it. <laughs> gotta put this in Mylar, for the sakes. Look at that. Um, Marvel Tales. I mean, Mar uh, Atlas Comics, and a lot of them are mystery and. Uh, uh, semi-horror comics like this they always had some weird covers about people disappearing right in the broad daylight in the crowded streets you know weird things going on buildings flying up in the air a guy like this crawling up a ladder a lot of bizarre covers like that that over there that's got to be rebagged and boarded oh now I did show this on graphic man's channel I'm pretty sure yeah this is pirates um, I'm gonna have to pull it out of there and find out what issue it is This is volume one, number three from 1950. And you know, this was missing some pages and I knew it when I bought it, but I bought it anyway. I got, I got it for, I forgot what I paid. I think $8. And I went online to, uh, I forgot what the site is called, comics.com. Uh, um, and I found this comic. They have the entire comic on that site. I forgot what the site was called. I can find out later. And you can uh, download the entire comic or every, any page that you need. That's the page that was missing. There's the other side of it. Because you could just flip the, uh, when you print out one page, you can uh, just turn it around and put it back in and print out the next page, the back side of that same page. And and then I taped it in there. This is uh, the back side. Downloaded it on my computer and then printed it out. So now I got the complete book. But... Um, It's, I'm not interested in the high-grade copies of these because uh, I like to read these and I'm 
not going to spend a ton of money on them. Unless they got some good girl art. I don't know. But that goes into my Buccaneer bin. Oh, yeah. I showed this on Graphic Man. Ghostly Tales. Creepy spider cover. Love the creepy spider covers. House of Spiders. Jim Apparel cover. Um... Well, this is a Charlton box right here. Hmm. With all this stuff on it. Uh, this is getting crazy. Oh. Here's another undersea agent. Number two. Uh... Can you believe that? I thought this was a Wally Wood cover. And it's a, a Mike. <clears throat> Not Sarkowski. Sarkorski. Mike Sarkowski. It's a Mike Sarkowski cover. Could have been Wally Wood inks. Because that's what it looks like to me. But it's a pretty nice. Uh, Great looking cover. Love that cover. 1966 Tower Records again. Under Sea Agent. Number two. And put that over there. Ghostly Tales. I already showed you that one. Oh, yeah, baby. I showed this on Graphic Man. This is uh, uh, Marvel Tales number 105. With just a beautiful cover by Ross Heath. I hope these are all coming out okay. I'm with... And uh, colors by Stan Goldberg. I don't know how much the... It's supposed to be downstairs. And I got them all up here. This is a Giggle Comics, an ACG comic that I got from a, a friend, Leo, which is pretty cool. It had uh, a piece missing right here in the corner, and I just made a copy of the bottom part of this comic, and then I added it in. It's a little darker in color, but... Uh, Don't matter to me. If I, of course, if I sell it, I have to make those notations, right? But I'm not going to be selling these. And I think my ACG box is over there. But right now, I'm trying to concentrate Dell, Gold Key, and Harvey. So put that over there. Here's a Gold Key. Boris Karloff. Tales of Mystery. Oh. ACG. See if I can't find any more. Um, Del Go Keys. Here's Charlton, but the box is over here, damn it. Uh, okay, here's some Boris Karloff. The cover could be a George Wilson cover, but I'm not sure. No, not from Dennis the Menace. George Wilson, the uh, famous artist, cover painter. I have the German comic that reprints uh, the stories in this in this book. Okay, Boris Karloff again. This is number fifty-nine from nineteen. 
I didn't put a date up there. I think it's 1925, probably it's 74 or 75. This is 61. Some of them I got dates on them and some of them I don't. Here's 71 from 1976. And I think what I'm going to do here is... Oh, look at this. What a fantastic book this is. This has over... 50 of the greatest horror comics of all time. How do I know that? Because it says so right on the cover. <laughs> I forgot what I paid for this, but it wasn't the regular retail price. It's $18 retail, which is well worth it alone. I mean, it's a thick book. And yeah, they're in black and white, but the black and white... Gives you so much more detail. And the stories are just... Just crazy. From uh, pre-code. Pre-code era. And after code as well. All great. So... That'll go over here with my books. Hey, look at the Big Lebowski carpet. You know, it's a mouse pad on the Big Lebowski. Oh, look at this. Here's some of my original art. <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding me. I was looking for this. <laughs> Holy crap. Are you kidding me? What was that? I was looking for this for, I think, a month. My cereal. Gosh darn it all. It's got a little mystery game you can play on the back. Activity. I didn't do a Halloween video because I've been so busy with that back porch, which uh, I'm going to show in the beginning of this video. You'll see it. How far I've gotten with it and what's in here now. Oh, okay. These are uh, my punch lines. Um, Needless to say, they're all first issue, punchline in her own book. There's a, I think cover B, or is it? I don't know. But that's supposed to be downstairs too. So I don't know why it's up here now. Ay, ay, ay. Oh. Well, here's something I can unbox. It's already opened. I don't know why I didn't take it out of there. I opened it. Are you kidding me? Will come out. You gotta be kidding me. Ugh. No wonder I didn't. Uh... For Christ's sake. You know, I don't like to rip the bag, but I guess I have to. 
voila let's see what's in here oh nice cardboard i can use that nice cardboard i can use that cardboard uh oh i'll have to get a knife i'll be right back <laughs> uh, ow, 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 ow. Oh. ah there goes the tape ah, losing everything around here bloody heck I'm back. Trusty blade. Let's see what we got here. I swear to you, I don't know what this is. Yeah, I've been so busy and I get a lot of anxiety from working because I get pain in my back and then I gotta take painkillers because of the arthritis and then I forget where I put stuff and forget oh what is this oh bless me soul another pirate comic this one might be the first issue let's take it out of here Oh, I remember buying this. It was a while ago, though. Um, it's kind of beat up. What did I pay for this? I couldn't have paid a lot for it. Because it's really beat up. Yeah, it is the first issue from 1950. Hillman Publications. That's the first issue. I think even in this beat up grade, I had, I think, I'm pretty sure I paid at least 20 bucks for it. go right into the Buccaneer bin. Packed it well, very well. Look at that. A lot of protection on that. Four pieces of heavy cardboard. That's the way you do it. Who was that from? Jack Hunt, I believe. This is from, uh, oh, Lone Star, my comic shop. This must have been sitting in here for a while. I forgot it was here. I probably got the mail. The doorbell rang because the mail lady rings the doorbell whenever there's a package like this. or a, Which is good. And then I stopped working, brought it in, put it, put it in here. And then went back to work again. And forgot about it. What happens to me? Now, what is this? Uh, bless me, poor soul. Hey, uh, yay. They use a lot of tape, I'll tell you that, in their packaging. Lone Star Comics, my comic shop. Let's see here. Buccaneers, number 23. I'm on a piracy kick. And if you can't tell, then there sure as hell is something wrong with you. I 
fold the tape over so there's no chance of it catching. Let me pull it out of here. Better look at this thing here. Oh, not bad, not bad. Not high grade, but... Yeah, number 23 from 1950. A little bit of good girl art. Or, well, she might be a... That might be bad girl art, I don't know. Depending on who whose side she's on. <laughs> you ever notice that? And a lot of these books, they make... Some of the characters look like Errol Flynn because he was so great in those uh, pirate movies, you know, like Captain Blood and uh, the Seahawk. And he was good with a sword in Robin Hood. So that's another buccaneer into the buccaneer bin. Throw this stuff on the floor and I'll pick it up later. You know, this is a... If the box is in good condition, I keep it. it to mail off whatever items I have to mail off. See? It's pretty good there. Boy, this is turning into a long video. Oh! Look at this, the domino lady. Paperback from Moonstone. This is a mass market edition from. Uh, oh, darn it, man! When was it? Uh, it's got some illustrations in here. I'll show you at least one of the illustrations. If I can find the damn thing. Oh, here's a domino lady and the uh, <laughs> the phantom. The domino lady was a character that appeared in a, a pulp magazine called Saucy uh, uh, Saucy Romantic Adventures, and it consisted of kind of a racy, soft pornographic uh, stories soft pornographic stories and it was published in a, uh, published by a fiction magazines or fiction periodicals I, I, I can't remember and it was in 1936 and I think the company didn't last very long. They might have only had like uh, they might have only had like six issues of that, I think. And in each one of those uh, pulp magazines, they had the Domino Lady. And a lot of people, you go online and you're doing some research on this, you'll find that a lot of people say it was will claim it was by uh, uh, created and written by this guy Lars Anderson but Lars Anderson was just a pseudonym for uh, an unknown an unknown writer that worked for the company and a lot of those companies often hired staff writers uh, that uh, uh, would do the stories, but they wouldn't uh, 
take the credit for it because it was maybe they were uh, doing other work at the same time and they didn't want to uh, use their real name so they used the house name and Lars Anderson was a house name they used that pseudonym Lars Anderson so uh, that is what that is Saucy Romantic Adventures that was the original Domino Lady 1936 it's got the original six stories in here. It's pretty good. Um, I have a book here as well. Anne Rice. The Wolves of Midwinter. And I. Th this is signed by her. I haven't read it. All right, now I got to the Charlton box. How about that? Oh, these are all in order, though, are they? No, maybe they are. G. I don't know. Well, I guess. I'm gonna have to put my. I got a, some Charlton's, some Charlton's here, and I guess I'm just gonna put them in there, right up in the front, and then we have to rebag and board some of these, and then I will put them in their proper place. Midnight Tales. Oh, gotta stand up. Show you this. Midnight Tales number one. Many Ghosts of Dr. Gray is number 30. Ghostly Haunts, number 23. All New Haunted, number 15. Haunted number 17. Voice in the Fog. It's got Steve Ditko. Well, most of the Charlton stuff was, uh, a lot of it was Steve Ditko. So. Got some Archie comics here too as well, but uh, you know what? I think I'm gonna cut it right here. Here's a bunch of uh, ACG books that go into that box right down there, but that box is already filled with ACGs, so I gotta start a new box and. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> well, I think I'm going to have to continue this later. Right out with Brito. Oh, wait a minute. Here's a Harvey. But I already showed you that. That goes in the Harvey box right there. Uh, here's a spooky tough ghost. Number one and number one. Two number ones. The 
Let's see which one's nicer. This one's a nicer cover, a nice black cover. Isn't that a beauty? I wonder if the lighting is okay, you know? Well, it is what it is, so I'll learn. I learn from things. What is this? Faucet, that's why it's up here. No, but it should be downstairs with the uh, Silver Age Horror and Suspense, suspense Comics for 1952. Strange Suspense Stories, number one, from 1952. That's going to have to go over there then. Hmm. Okay, Unknown Worlds. Now, I forget that. I'm going to have to do that whole ACG stuff later. Oh, Tough Ghost starring Spooky. This might be a file copy. 33. 12 cents. Oh, this is nice. This is a nice holiday. It's got the toy hobby section in here. I wonder if I showed this before. Um... Tough Ghost, starring Spooky, number five. Let me take it out of the bag. That's got a, oh heck, it's got one of those. Wait a minute, is this? Oh, they didn't take the strip off, good. It's one of those bags, self-sealed bags with the strip, adhesive strip there. Oh, I dislike those. This is a nice, this looks like a file copy as well. Number five. From, let's see, 1963. 1963, I had to take a pee. Number four. You know, the ads in these are just amazing. I'm just so nostalgic for these ads. Let me uh, see if I can't show you. Carefully. I'll have to show this around Christmas time again. I'm supposed to be on Night Tiger's uh, Christmas special. Whenever that is. So I gotta. Uh, oh, here we go. This has, here, this has the toy supplement because uh, it was published just before Christmas. Let me put the backer board down. Isn't that lovely? Just wonderful. Wonderful little books that have just disappeared and the back cover, the reindeer. Probably every kid who saw that was thinking of Rudolph because it's got a red nose. I have these. I have a complete set of these, the knights. Remember, almost every kid when I was growing up back in the early 60s, every kid had a speedometer on his bike.
Well, this has to be rebagged and boarded for sure and put in mylar. <laughs> Certainly looks like a Harvey file copy to me. Goes in there. And I think there might be a, just a few more Harveys here. And then I'm going to call it quits. Tough goes number 36. This would have been a nice Halloween issue, but I didn't do a Halloween video. I might have shown this uh, on Graphic Man's channel, I don't know. Tough Ghost number 27. <laughs> this is a bizarre cover. <laughs> Number 35. Can't go wrong with the Hardys. There. And the other stuff that I got. Getting back to Gold Key. Oh, and there's more Harveys down there as well. Well, you know. Where the hell is my remote? I got one of these remotes, a Bluetooth. You can turn your phone on and off remotely without putting your hand all over it, you know, like I did before when I was uh, when I thought everything was reversed because I'm looking at things in reverse, the mirror image. But uh, once you uh, play it back it's the correct way but anyway I want to thank everybody for joining me I know I didn't do a video in a long time but uh, you see from the pictures and from the video that I've been up to a lot of work and there's gonna be movie posters going up there in that back room and it's also going to serve as a little room for my wife where she can just uh, talk on the phone and watch her TV. I'm putting a TV up on the wall and an arm that swings out, you know, for her. And, but uh, the compromise is me posters is going up on the walls, whether she likes it or not. Don't forget Thursday night, 7 o'clock, Gratu Orloff, the Four Color Fossils going to have a special edition thanksgiving edition that he's going to be hosting so uh i might be posting another video before that but if i don't we'll see you there and the link will be in the description check it out salute yeah suffering sea kitties there's another one well, I'll have to show you that later. Good night, folks.